Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In this video, I want to talk about how to make money while learning to code. Maybe a lot of you guys are looking to transition careers and you're looking to learn web development so one day you could get a job, but you're wondering, is there anything I could do while I'm learning to make some side income? And the answer is yes, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. By the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Paul and I talk about switching careers into web development late in life. If this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. Unfortunately, when I started to learn to code, I really wanted to get my first job. But the truth is, nobody was going to hire me without any experience. So I started to play a little game with myself. I wanted to see if I could get some freelance clients. And I'm going to tell you what I started to do to make some side income. Now, before I continue, I want you guys to know that starting a business or making money as a side hustle is not easy. There's plenty of how to make money online videos videos on YouTube and they're all full of nonsense. To build a legitimate business and to make money takes time. Now these three ways that I'm going to share with you will give you opportunity to try to make money while you're learning, but they're not going to make you rich. I just want to put that out there up front so you know that I'm not pandering to you get rich easy quick schemes here. From a couple of these options I'm going to talk about the different levels of experience you need. Some of them you basically don't need any any experience like using Wix or Squarespace. Believe it or not, there's plenty of people that will be fine by having their website hosted on Wix or Squarespace. I know somebody who charges 100 bucks an hour for setting up Wix websites, which is ridiculous to me. Now, if you know some coding like basic HTML and CSS and you're not afraid to open a editor, you could actually help users to set up websites using pre-made themes. And I'm gonna show that in this video and kind of how to find clients and how to go about getting started. And somewhere in the middle, there's plenty of people that would love to have a WordPress website. Now you're probably laughing and you're probably turning off the channel and saying that is ridiculous, that it's not even real programming, that setting up websites for people makes no sense. I want to be a developer. Well, let me tell you, if you don't know enough HTML and CSS or JavaScript to build something on your own, you're not going to get hired anyway. So this is a great transitional way for you guys to get started. If you know where to look, you will find clients. It just takes a little bit of work but nothing is free in life. You're either going to put in your time learning new skills or getting clients, whatever it is. So I don't want you guys to give me an excuse that this is too hard. This one idea I actually heard from Coding Face and it's very similar to what I recommended. I just did not think about his perspective. His idea was going to Google and finding all the lawn mowing companies in your area, which I thought was clever because a lot of them don't have good websites and doing a little bit of research upfront and then connecting with them and telling them, especially if they don't have a website, that you could set them up with a website or you could improve their current website. And what's cool about it, by using Wix, Squarespace, or WordPress, or buying a static HTML JavaScript template, you could easily do that with limited amount of coding. And believe it or not, you could actually make money doing that. I know people that made careers out of setting up websites like this. And as a new developer, this is a great way for you to get your feet wet working with clients and at the same time knowing that you don't have to build something from scratch. Now you're probably wondering, what do I know? Well, I used to have my own martial art business and I also used to do a lot of private kickboxing and fitness classes. And you know what? While I'm looking for a new job, I'm actually thinking of doing the same thing. And you're probably wondering, well, I don't want to teach kickboxing. That's not the point. The point is that I fit into your typical client. Could be a personal trainer, could be a yoga instructor, could be a psychiatrist, a life coach, a dentist, a gardener. Whatever you find someone where they're a small business, where they're delivering some sort of service themselves, they need a website. Just like I need to promote my personal training that I wanna do to make some money on the side, because right now I'm in between jobs, 
I'm actually living proof of type of clients that you could find. Now, lucky for me, I'm also a web developer and I could do this stuff. But this is where I got the idea to share with you guys this video is because I'm actually doing this from both sides. Like I'm a client because I need a website to promote my personal training business. But at the same time, I'm a beginner developer or let's pretend I'm a beginner developer and I want to build you that website. So today I just want to jump into it. I know I talked too much about it, but I just want to set the stage. I want to show you the best ways to get started and actually be able to accomplish this goal where you could either make a website very easily for a dental office, for a small yoga studio, for a personal trainer like I'm looking to be, and I'm going to share some examples. So let's jump in onto my computer right now. All right. So before you guys tell me that nobody's using Wix or Squarespace for businesses, this is a website from a business where I used to work before I left and started working as a developer. I used to work for Gracie Sports Brazilian Jiu Jitsu teaching MMA and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. This website here is built with Wix because I know the people that did it. And this is the guy that I was telling you about who charges 100 bucks an hour to set up Wix websites for businesses. So here's a clearly a business where I know the owner, I know who built this website, and I know that this is hosted with Wix. So the point is, is that there are plenty of businesses where Wix, Squarespace, a WordPress, site or a simple HTML template is more than enough. So with that being said, let's take a look at some ideas. Watching Coding Face, he talked about doing lawn care. Like I said, it's a great place to start because there's plenty of lawn care businesses out there and a lot of them have terrible websites. So I thought he was genius in that sense. For me, I'll give you another example. I'm in that personal trainer niche and as I am starting to just for fun, when I find a few clients on the weekend to do kickboxing with. So this is a website I'm starting at. You could find it at weekendwarriorsmma.com. This is my website. It's still not done, but that's the beauty of it. I want to show it to you guys because this is clearly a theme that I bought on ThemeForce that I'm going to basically customize and set up. And you know what? When it comes to WordPress, you need zero coding experience or Wix or Squarespace. So this is a great way for you guys to get started. All you need to do is just not be shy about just looking in your local area and finding some businesses that you could see if they have a website. And again, going for dental offices, going for like small coffee shop, going for personal training, personal coaching, looking for people who do lawn care. None of those people want to make or manage their own website. So if you come in for a good price, you could help them out. And this is why this is genius because you don't have to be a master of coding. You could just learn the basics and this will allow you to get started talking with clients. And as you get better at coding, you could take on more complex projects. So let's take a look at some examples where you could find these templates. I like personally using ThemeForest and I bought many templates here that I use. You could find just the basic HTML and CSS templates. Like here, I'll show you an example. And HTML templates, they tend to be cheaper. So I believe this is HTML template. So let's take a look. So here, I bought this for nine bucks. And this is basically a simple website where you could modify as your heart desires. If you understand basic HTML and that's all you need to do because all you're going to be doing here is literally moving HTML stuff around. It's like, oh, I don't want this section to be here. I want it to be lower. Let me move this HTML code and put it below. But the beauty of this is that you're not building anything from scratch. And if you know some basic CSS, you could take this existing theme and customize it with certain styles or change the colors that are more local to the business. And this is great in that sense that you don't really need to know much. And a lot of people make fun of people like this because they're like, you're not a coder. You don't know how to code because they get hung up with this idea that you have to be an expert. But the truth is people that are not shy about calling in their area and asking if people have websites and following up and finding clients. What's beautiful about stuff like this, like where you don't build anything from scratch and you use templates for smaller businesses to help them build a website that they'll be happy with is because a lot of real developers, they're going to think that this is beneath them and they won't want to do something like this. But the truth is they're leaving money on the table. And I get it. If you work for a company, then that's what you do. But if you're just starting out and you can't get a job, but you want to 
try something, this is a great way to get started. And this has some viable path to get to a point where maybe you're going to like this even more. You like talking to people and you'll be able to get to a point where you're making a legitimate income. Now, with that being said, understand building a real business takes work. And when I did freelancing like so, I was able to make part-time money, which was not enough for me to live on, but it was a great way for me to build experience while learning to code. So let's take a look at some more examples. The beauty of this is like all of these templates are pre-made and they're looking really awesome. So you need to do the bare minimum of work to get it done. There's plenty templates for gyms. Here's one for personal coaching. Maybe you could look up a bunch of nutritionists in your local area and you could be like, hey, I have this great website I could build you to promote your business. And a lot of times the only thing they really need to do is have a way either to have a blog or have some sort of form where people could sign up or see their schedule. Like we have the book button now here to click here and get in touch, fill out the form. Because at the end of the day, all these businesses, they want their website to bring clients in and help them make money. Here's another great example of a theme that I didn't create. And again, that's what I'm saying with basic HTML and CSS and JavaScript, using something like WordPress, using Wix or Squarespace, or not even using any of them and using, you know, template like HTML, CSS, JavaScript template, which is great, especially for people that just want a website, company website, but don't want to constantly update the content when it's not necessary. There's so many great ways for you guys to get started. And what I'm saying is that this is a great way that it won't don't take any extra effort outside of you willing to do some basic research and make some phone calls. And I know that the reason why a lot of people don't do this is because we are afraid of the phone. We are afraid of talking to people and we will never take advantage of this. But if you don't mind making a few phone calls, talking to some people and having some people say, no, I'm not interested because for every no, you're getting closer to yes. I've done a bunch of WordPress websites for clients and it is amazing how once you get on a roll, how you can start building some websites for some customers and then asking for referrals and one thing leads to another. Now, this does take work. And some people will be like, well, I don't want to make money while learning to code. So I don't even care about this. And so they're not going to take an effort of this. But for me, it's interested because I was like, hey, I want to do some private personal training. Oh, shoot, I need a website. And then I'm like, there's got to be thousands of people like me that want to do some side hustle. They have a service, like maybe they want to teach golf. Maybe they want to coach tennis, whatever, fishing. And they don't care about making a website. And this is where you could find those individuals because real developers supposedly real developers are not going to want to help them. They're like, oh, if you're not using React with like whatever, like, so they're leaving money on the table. And the beauty of doing sites like this, once you, number one, it's very easy because you're not building anything from scratch. You're just using templates and with basic HTML and CSS, you're modifying websites. Even if you start doing WordPress, the times that you actually have to use PHP is very limited unless they want something specific. And then you could learn some PHP, which I wouldn't recommend. Like when I did WordPress, I took clients where I specifically knew they just need a basic template with some HTML and styles and that's it. And, but the beauty of WordPress, let me come back here before I finish this video, is that they have Elementor drag and drop builder. If you guys haven't used this before, I challenge anyone to install WordPress, install Elementor, watch a bunch of YouTube videos and you'll be surprised how much stuff you could build for this. I used to work for a marketing agencies. This is what we used. 90 5% of our websites will build with WordPress and Elementor. Real estate companies, restaurants, you know, museums. We built websites for them. And when I say built, we basically created the layout in Photoshop and we designed the whole layout using Elementor. And if you want some more resources, you could go to WP Crafters YouTube channel. And there's many channels, but this is the one I recommend a lot. He has so many free videos to teach you how you could learn to work with WordPress, set up WordPress and start looking for clients. So again, this video might be divided because this might not be the answer that some you guys were looking for but the only reason I wanted to mention this is because I know people that made money this way I know people that still make money this way the marketing company that I've worked for this is still the service they offer they 
offer WordPress websites for their businesses. They also do Wix and Squarespace, but 80% of the sites are WordPress. I've done it myself. And while I was learning, that was a great way to make some site income. And actually another benefit of this is that it counts on your resume. And that's something that I put on your my resume that helped me get my next internship and then my next job. Now I work as a React developer. Do I need to do stuff like this? Not if I want, I'm happy with my nine to five job, but if I wanted to freelance, to be honest with you, unless it's a contract work with React, if I had to do something outside of that, it would be doing exactly this. So take it or leave it, but I know these are legitimate ways of making money and I know people that make a pretty good income just doing that. Is it glamorous? No. Are you working with the most coolest technologies in the world? No. But at the end of the day, if you just want to make some side money while learning to code, this is the way to do it. By the way, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you have any comments, let me know what you guys have done or try to do, troubles that you're having. At the end of the day, I'm just some dude on YouTube that talks about my experience of switching careers into web development. And this is one way that I was able to close the gap, give myself something to do while learning to code. I also know that a lot of you guys are legitimately interested in just freelancing and trying to figure out what workflow or what possibilities can you do by being a freelancer. And for that, I'm going to start another podcast with DJ Norris, who has a freelancing company, and we're going to talk only about freelancing. I'm not going to have it on this channel, and I'll tell you more about it when we release our first podcast I'll talk about here. It's going to be more talking about freelancing and just that whole kind of ecosystem and how to get some freelancing. And this channel is about coding. So I'm only going to talk about coding here. So I'm not going to mix the two outside of once in a while making these videos like I did this one. But that podcast is going to be what are you doing to freelance? How are we getting clients? What am I doing? I'm going to talk from the standpoint of growing my part-time business and go from there. If you're interested, subscribe to this channel. And I'll let you know when we're going to release our freelancing dev channel and go from there. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, let's do the cool exit. I don't know. That wasn't that cool, Paul. Nobody's impressed. What are you thinking? All right. Yes, I'm just going to say bye. Bye.